All right, so this is just a quick video on two carbonate minerals. Those are malachite and azurite, and these are formed by the oxidization of your copper ore. This can mean native copper, this could mean chalcosite, this could mean bornite, chalcopyrite. Chalcopyrite is one of the ones that we see very often with lots of malachite and azurite staining. And if you were to take this here, which is malachite, this turquoise green color, and you were to assay just that, you'd be looking at about 35% copper. You can see the difference here. This darker, darker blue is azurite. This stuff right here is malachite. Pretty distinct, both carbonate minerals, both are minor uh, minerals in associated with copper ores. Here's another sample here. Again, you have both. You have your azurite mixed with a bit of malachite in here and your malachite there. So these are really nice samples. These are about 30% copper and they contain about an ounce to three ounces per ton gold and equivalent silver. So there's a couple different variations. This stuff right here is actually malachite. This lighter blue turquoise color this is also malachite here. This darker stuff here is azurite. So don't confuse the two. While they're both carbonate minerals, they're both valuable. They both contain copper. There is a bit of a difference between these. I'll just show a couple more samples. It's pretty easy to tell the difference between the two minerals. And often you'll see both mixed together or intertwined when you're dealing with copper ores. Generally when you see copper sulfides or native copper, you'll see your copper carbonates running with it if it's undergone some sort of oxidization process. So, hope you guys enjoyed this short little video and the, the beautiful samples. Thanks for watching. Take care.